I'm a man of faith. Are same. you? Same, same. How much does faith play a role in your leadership style? How much does yeah. it play a role in your personal life? How much does it play a role in the decisions that you make day to day? Yeah, I actually thank you for asking that question. It's actually one of the things I want to get better at doing, which is tying my success to um, my creator, which you know I, I believe deserves all of the credit. So I thank you for giving me a space to do that. Um, no, God is the center of my life in any and all things. Um, you know, even as I took this job in my interview with Puff, he said, tell me one thing you need to know about me. That's that, 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 tell me one thing I need to know about you that's not on your resume. And I said, well, I'm a man of God. And that doesn't mean I'm running around the office with a Bible pump, popping people on the head because I don't believe in that. But it does mean that I will carry myself in a certain way with integrity. It does mean that the business will be run and managed in a certain way that's reflective of my faith. And so at the end of the day, like I think God is everything for me. I've also surrounded myself with a lot of folks, specifically black women who are prayer warriors. Like at my last job. Ooh, he, talk that he, talk, Tavio. My admin brother, like she know I was walking out of out of my office into a meeting to make millions of dollars or have a conversation with my boss. And as I walked out of my office, she would walk into my office and start praying. Right. Um, so my mama, you know, this this woman, Yvette, just around me, I surround myself with people who keep me lifted um, because I believe that as long as I'm moving in the way God wants me to move, that everything I do will be blessed. And I need it to be blessed because there are families on the line, the cultures on the line. And I just don't think I can make those decisions or move um, on my own without creator. Oh, I love that you elaborated on this because there's so many people who just need to understand Number one, yeah, th th there is a greater power. You, Absolutely. You have done some amazing things in your career, but you didn't do it on your own. And the That's fact right. that you recognize it, the fact that you understand that I need to be in alignment, in conversation, in relationship with my That's creator right. at all times, not just at all my times, own, but when I'm making these decisions that could affect my overall business, that's right. He needs to be part of that conversation. I think that that is so important because people, they, 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 they um, compartmentalize their life. And they yeah. think God only fits in one area. No. no. He, he, you should be in relation with him in all areas of your life. So I love the, the fact that That's you right. have a man of faith. And just as, as a, 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 a quick um, insider information right here, the fact yeah. that told Puff that, understand that that went a long way because one of his most trusted confidants um, at the company for so many years was a man named Derek Ferguson. Um, not sure. sure. Do you, are you familiar with Derek? Yes, 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 yes. But Derek was like, uh, you know, and I love Derek. He is uh, an amazing person. He's a good been guy. A friend to me. But one thing that Derek brought into the bad boy system, him mm -hmm. and, and, and a woman named Vashta, was the fact that look, you know, we are doing all of these things. We're putting out great music. We're doing. We're building great companies. But mm. it is God first. We are going to bring faith mm. into the office place. And because of that reason, he was able to to be uh, a, a trusted, a tr yeah. trusted friend and confidant of Diddy. So I know that struck a chord with him. Yeah, I mean, I didn't actually know that about Derek Ferguson, so I'm glad you told me that. So oh, yes. Derek is currently on the board of Revolt, right? So yep. I still am reporting up to him in that sense that he actually held the role that I hold last. So he was the last chief operating officer of Revolt. Um, so um, interesting to hear that part of the story and see how, you know, God continues to just draw a line and connect dots that you don't see. Um, but yeah, man, like... I don't even understand how people pretend to do business without God. Do you know how many years it's been June and I'm looking up going, God, there's no way we're going to hit these numbers at this point in time. Like I believe that, it, you know, the spirit world is super and natural. I'm going to do everything that I can in my natural, but unless you bless this with your super, we are not going to make it. Right. And my only thing that made me believe we could make it is my faith. Um, and then year after year, we would hit those goals. I don't know how people do it without God. <laughs> like, I really don't. If I really thought it was only up to me every single day, I'd probably jump out a window by now. Right. I need that person that I can say, God, but you, I trust, but you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to walk this faith walk because of you and trust that it's going to work out. It's the only way to make I love it. That, and I'm so happy that you are, 
oh, man enough, you are human enough to bring mm -hmm. this into the conversation, into a business conversation and be so upfront and open about your faith. Thank you so yeah. much. No, thank you for giving me the opportunity. The last thing that I'll say is um, I left Urban One and came here because I believe it is God ordained. I believe that it is a part of the assignment to be exactly where I am. I can't tell you all of the reasons why or how it's all going to work out, but I would not be here if I didn't believe that God was telling me to be here. In fact, I'll tell you one story I haven't told anybody. When I first got the call that Revolt was looking for someone in this role, I was like, absolutely not but God who opens my eyes, but God who allows me to see, but God who pushes me on this path and I couldn't be happier. Um, so again, we'll see what happens, but I believe I'm here for a reason that is absolutely God ordained. I, I, I believe you are as well. And even the fact that you are acknowledging that it is God ordained, I'm sure that there is a reason for you going over there. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video, truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.